Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge, and welcome to another week of school lunch inspiration, this time with an Easter twist. Okay friends, just a few things before we get started. First up, I want to say a big thanks to all of you who tuned in to last week's episode where I shared lots of Disney-inspired lunches. That was so fun, and I definitely plan on doing other Disney character-themed lunches in the future. I tried a couple of new techniques and ways of doing it last week, and you guys definitely gave me some feedback on what you liked to see and what you didn't like to see, so I'm keeping that in mind this week. Now on to the shout-outs of the week. This week they're going to Tanya for leaving us our first comment on last week's video. And our Instagram shout out goes to Poppy. Make sure you're subscribed to us here on YouTube and follow us on Instagram for your chance to be next week's shout outs. Now let's get started. Good morning friends and happy Monday. Right now I have Mackenzie and Jackson and Lily with me. Say good morning. Good, good morning. morning. So I just finished making today's lunch and I think it turned out really cute. What do you guys think? So cool! Aww. So since today is Monday, what do you think the sandwich is? pb &J. That's right. So I went ahead and made it really cute by using my little bunny face cookie cutter. I found this on Amazon and it came in a set of really cute spring and Easter cookie cutters. Now to go along with this, I also gave the kids a carrot shaped piece of cheddar cheese. Doesn't it look fun? Yeah! It's perfect because it's orange. And then in this back corner I gave them some strawberries with a cute little egg pick. And in this corner we do have some vegetables today. It's just broccoli with a little container of ranch. Now I also have a lot of fun things to go along with lunch today including these really fun bunny snack holders. And in here I just have a handful of the bunny graham. So there's chocolate ones in there and it's sort of like a graham cracker cookie. I'm also giving the kids some little cuties. I found these really fun picks at the grocery store and I just stuck it right in there just for fun. And then of course to go along with PB&J I am giving the kids some milk today and to make it extra special I found these really cute bunny straws at Walmart. Does it look cool? Yeah! So we have a blue one for Jackson, a pink one for Mackenzie, and of course Lily gets the purple one. And the cookies also go good with the milk. They do! Okay guys, I'm gonna get all of my lids on and then after lunch... We'll show you what we ate! Bye! We're back home now and here's what we ate. Good job Lily! So right now I have Jackson, Mackenzie, and Lily helping me. So what did you think of today's lunch guys? It was cool! It looks like they did really well. I see that Mackenzie ate pretty much everything except the bottom of her little treat container got lost. So that's kind of a bummer. Let's see, Jackson has just a couple bites of his sandwich left. But he ate everything else including most of the broccoli so that's good. And then Lily ate her whole sandwich which I am shocked <laughs> that she did that. And she also just left a little bit of her broccoli stem. I know she's not a big fan of those. But she ate all of her cookies and everyone drank all of their milk. So that's really great. What was your favorite part, guys? I really liked the sandwich. I liked the bunny. The bunny, the yeah. Sandwich. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hi, guys. And happy Tuesday. <laughs> right now I have both Jackson and Mackenzie with me. Say hello. Hi. What do you guys think of today's lunch? Cool! I think it turned out so cute. You know, I really enjoy making these fun lunches. It's something that actually is really fun for me, especially when it comes out as cute as this. I started today's lunch by making some really fun bread cones in the shape of a carrot. Now this is actually something that I've been wanting to try for a while. I saw that idea on Pinterest and it looks so cute. So I went on Amazon and I bought several of these metal cones and these are used to make cream horn desserts normally. But what I did is take some refrigerated dough, I cut it into strips, and then I sort of wound it around the cone. Then I just took some orange food coloring and brushed it on the outside so they would look like carrots. Then I got it into the oven and baked it for about 10 minutes. And surprisingly, these came out so well. I wasn't quite sure if it was going to work. To go in our cones, I whipped up some egg salad, and then I used a few leaves of spinach to look like the carrot tops. And here they are. I think they turned out so cute, and they should be really tasty too. 
Now to go along with today's lunch, I'm also giving the kids some carrots, of course. We're going with a carrot theme. And then back here, I took some pieces of cantaloupe and I used my small flower cutter to cut it out. And then I added them to this really cute carrot pick. Back over here, I have some yogurt. And on the top, I added a few sprinkles and these sprinkles look like grass and carrots. It's perfect for today's lunch. I'm also sending the kids with a snack and a treat today. In these cute little carrot containers, I have some of these cheddar bunny crackers. These are perfect for Easter themed lunches. They look just like this and I get these at Target. And then in this little container, I have one single Easter Oreo. And I don't know if you can see this, but it has a little bunny on the outside. They look just like this and the inside is marshmallow peep flavor. So I'm just gonna give the kids each one of those. Today they're just gonna be taking their water bottles and that is it. And we'll see you guys when we get back. Okay guys, lunchtime is over and right now I have Mackenzie and Lily here helping me. Hi. So what did you guys think about lunch today? Did you like all the carrot themed foods? Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. It looks like Mackenzie ate just about everything. Oh, you did eat everything. Except for your little spinach leaves, but that's yeah. okay. And Jackson left a few carrots, that's not too bad. And Lily, she left a little bit of everything. So there's a few little pieces of cantaloupe, some carrots, and most of the cheddar bunnies. But these are still good, you can still eat those. So overall today, I think it was really cute. I would definitely make these little cone bread things again and see all the different kinds of ways I could make them. Yeah, that's my favorite part. Wasn't that fun? Yeah. What was your favorite part, Lily? The cookie. The Oreo cookie? Yeah, those are tasty. I will see you tomorrow. Good afternoon, guys. And happy Wednesday. Right now I have both of my girls with me. I have Mackenzie and Lily say hello. Hello. So I just finished up making today's lunch and I think it turned out super cute, but Lily has a special request. What did you say, Lily? The best. Lunch was taco making. The best lunch was taco making. So I'm definitely gonna have to put that on my list pretty soon. But what did you say about today's lunch? It's really cute. So for today's lunch, I started by making some turkey cheese sandwiches and I used my really cute butterfly cutter to cut them out. This is just bread, a little bit of mayonnaise, some mustard only on lilies. And then today I also used Havarti cheese. Now to keep our sandwich together, I put a cute little pick right in the center. And that pick has a little Easter egg on there, so it's really fun. Back in this corner, I have some peach yogurt. And I put just a couple of these Easter egg sprinkles on top. Over in this corner, I have some watermelon. This is our first watermelon of the season, and it's not my favorite. I think it needs to get a little bit warmer for the watermelon. But I did use my flower shaped cookie cutter to cut them out, and I put them on this really cute little pick as well. Now in this section, I have something different for each of the kids. I got some new egg molds recently, and unfortunately I don't think they turn out the best. I think I need to get bigger eggs next time. But Lily's is supposed to be a flower, Jackson's is the bunny shape, and Mackenzie got the ladybug. I think the ladybug turned out pretty good. And I did put a shake of salt on each of them because that's what the kids like. Now I also am sending a snack and a treat today in our cute little bunny snack containers, I have just a couple of these yogurt covered pretzels. And these are actually the raspberry flavor. Those are really tasty. And then in this little container, I just have a few of the cheddar bunnies. These are perfect for Easter because they're bunnies and the kids really like them. So just, I just gave Lily a few and for the bigger kids, I gave them a little bit more. And that is everything in our lunches today. And we'll see you when lunch is over. Okay guys, lunchtime is over and as you can probably tell, I think I gave them a little too much food today. Mackenzie left a few of her crackers and she also left her yogurt pretzels. You didn't like them? Yeah. You were just too full or you didn't like them? I didn't like them. You didn't like them? And then, let's see, Jackson. Jackson did pretty good. He still has some cheddar bunnies, but he ate all of his pretzels and he ate everything else. And that watermelon was really juicy. There's a ton of water in there. Oh, are you gonna eat those now? Okay. And Lily, she has one little yogurt pretzel. Did you eat any yogurt? I ate a little bit with the pan. You ate a little bit? Was it good? Uh-huh. But she didn't eat her egg. Why not? Because I 
still. You don't like them still? My favorite part was the yogurt pretzels. The yogurt pretzels? Okay guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning friends and happy Thursday. That's right, happy Thursday. I can't believe it's almost the weekend. I'm so excited. But I think today's lunch turned out super cute. I'm about to pack it up. But before we do, I will show you how I made it. First up, I decorated my boxes with some cute napkins and some cupcake liners. Right now I have all the kids with me, including Griffin. Can you say hi? Hi. Say hi. hi. <laughs> so I started today's lunch by making some rolled up sandwiches. I just took some tortillas, added a little bit of ranch cream cheese, some shredded cheddar cheese, and some turkey. And then I rolled it up. Now to go along with this today, I'll also have some fresh pineapple, which we love. Usually I use the canned stuff just because it's easier, but when we were at Costco, they had pineapple on sale, so we picked one up. And I made these really cute by using my flour cookie cutter. And you guys, don't worry, I like to save the extra pineapple. This is perfect for throwing into smoothies. Back over in this corner, I have some black olives. They're not grapes, they're actually olives. And they're perfect for today because they look like little eggs. And right on top of the olives, I have a cute little ducky pick. Do you guys like the pick? Yeah! Isn't that so fun? Now I am sending the kids with a snack and a treat today. In these large snack containers, I have some white cheddar popcorn, just like that. Yummy, yummy. And then, instead of some fruit snacks today, I found these little bags of organic jelly beans. The kids love jelly beans. This is definitely a fun treat. And to drink, they're just gonna be taking their water bottles today. I'm so excited for pineapple. You love pineapple, huh? Uh huh? Personally, I'm actually allergic to pineapple, so I won't be eating any, but the kids love it. Yeah, yeah. And we'll see you guys when we get back. Okay guys, it is about five o'clock now and we're finally ready to show you the lunches for today. Starting with Mackenzie's. Oh yes, I do have Mackenzie with me. And Lily, stop doing that, she's spraying my cleaner. Stop spraying my cleaner. And I've got Jackson with me too, say hi. Hi. So what did you think of the lunch today? It was really, really chicky. Chicky? Uh -huh. I can see that Mackenzie ate all of her popcorn. That's really good popcorn, isn't it? It's got like a, a cheesy flavor. Yeah. And then you ate every, well, there's a few olives left and just one piece of pineapple, but you ate all of your sandwiches. So that's pretty good. What was your favorite part? I really like the pineapple and the roll-ups, but when I was eating my popcorn, I got way too much salt on my lips and then I ate this and then it burned, so I had to leave one there. So the popcorn and the pineapple are not a good combination together. Yeah. Let's check Jackson's. Jackson ate all of his sandwiches. He has two pieces of pineapple and quite a lot of olives. So what happened, Jackson? Mm, I was full. You were full? Mm -hmm. Okay, well next time I'll pack less. Now it's time to check Lily's. How did it go today, Lily? Good! What was your favorite part? Um, that, that The popcorn? Uh -huh. Yeah. I ate all of it. You did eat all of it. Let's check in here. You ate all of your sandwiches. Did you share any with Griffin? Nope. You didn't? Uh -huh. And you ate all of your olives and you just left one piece of pineapple. Overall, I think they did a really good job. Next time I'll just pack them with a little bit less. And we'll see you on Friday. Bye. Good morning, friends. And happy Friday. Right now I have Mackenzie, Jackson, and Lily here helping me say good morning. Good, good morning. morning. So I just finished packing the lunch, so let me show you how I made it. I started off by decorating my boxes with some really cute napkins. These ones have Easter eggs, and I also added some cupcake liners because that's what I love to do. It's easy and it makes it really cute, and it makes the lunch boxes easier to clean out. After that, I prepared these really cute carrots. Now I actually took some plastic piping bags like you might use with frosting, and I filled them full of cheddar bunnies. Now you could use any orange snack in here. You could do carrots or cheese puffs, just anything that's orange. And then I tied the top with a little string and added a piece of a green napkin on top. Does that look like a carrot? Yeah! So when you want to eat it, you just untie it and you can take the crackers right out. Over in this back corner, I have a few carrots with some ranch for dipping. And then in this corner, we have some grapes with a surprise on top. For our sandwich today, we are having PB&J, but this is a special PB&J. I use my really cute bunny cookie cutter. 
This one actually came with a separate cookie cutter to punch out a tail. So I cut out all of my bread, added peanut butter and jelly, and then for an added bonus, I added some Easter sprinkles just to the tail section. So it's kind of like fairy bread as well. If you've never heard about fairy bread, I'll go ahead and link a video down below. Also in today's lunch, I'm giving the kids some turkey pepperoni, and I've made it really fun by adding it to this bunny pick that just fits perfectly right in there. And then I am sending a little treat today. In these little containers, I have just one of the springtime Oreos. So Jackson has one with a little peep on it, and the girls have the little bunny. So just one little cookie. So there's everything in the lunch today. I definitely want to get my lids on, put an ice pack in there, and then we'll be ready to go. Jackson, do you want to check out what's in there? Um, it's a surprise. Yeah. Grape. grape. It's, uh, it's actually a grape, you guys, because did you know that Easter is actually on April Fool's Day this year? So there's a little friendly April Fool's Day joke. Just like that, isn't that cute? That wasn't very funny. No, last year we did a bunch of April Fool's jokes on the kids and those were actually funny. And I'll go ahead and link that video down below as well if you want to check it out. See you when lunch is over. Okay friends, it is almost bedtime now, <laughs> but we need to check the lunches before we can finish this video. So right now I have all the kids with me minus Griffin who's already sleeping. So let's go ahead and check the lunches for today, starting with Mackenzie's. How did it go, Mackenzie? Really, really good. But what happened here? I didn't have enough time to eat that. You didn't have enough time? That's okay, these are still good. You can eat them tomorrow. And then let's check in here. Oh, you eat everything else? Mm -hmm. Even your carrots? Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay, time to check Jackson's. Jackson, what did you think today? It was good. Okay, let's see. Oh, where's your carrot? I ate it all. You ate all of it? Wow. You must have been really hungry. Yeah. Jackson goes to tumbling uh -huh. on Friday, so that makes you extra hungry, right? Okay, but I see that you still have some carrots left. You gonna eat those now? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what did you think about our silly grapes? They're good. Were you happy about that prank? Or were not you not really. They were not happy about the prank. I don't think I'll do that again. But it looks like you ate everything else, so good job, Jack. Now on to Lily's. Lily, say hi. Hi. So what did you think of the lunch today? Good. Let's see. We have a few crackers left. Let's check in here. Let's see. You ate all of your carrots. That's really good. You ate all of your grapes. What did you think about the, uh, the prank? Was it good or bad? Good. You liked it? Oh, good. I'm glad somebody liked it. Let's see. What was in here? Your cookie? ate all of that, uh -huh. and you ate your, so, no, it was pepperoni. But you did leave a few bites of your sandwich, but that was a lot of food, so good job today, Lily. Lily, out of all of the lunches this week, which one was your favorite? Taco making. Taco making, I didn't make tacos. You really want me to make tacos next week, don't you? Uh -huh. Okay, we'll make tacos next week. Can you say, we'll see you next week? We'll see you next week. Okay friends, let me know in the comments down below, out of all the lunches this week, which one was your favorite? Now if you'd like to see last week's video where I shared lots of Disney inspired lunches, you can do that by clicking on the link up here. And if you'd like to see yesterday's video, which was a Costco haul, you could click on the link down there. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can do that by hitting my face right over here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.